Time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. A lot has happened uh, since the last time we looked at the whiteboard, so I thought it'd be good if we checked in with it and just kind of got a got a overview and wrapped our heads around everything that's uh, transpired. So one, the most notable and I think the largest change on the whiteboard is the absence of two of our uh, competitors, both Tice and Moon's Aqualad are no longer with us. Um, interesting that one of them was the, oh, a loser in the loser class. The other one was in the bottom middle class. So there's an upper middle and a middle middle or lower middle. They're both gone. What happened? Well, I think Mooney's Aqualad uh, chose to stay and fight when he probably should have ran away. He, um, I don't know if you recall, he got involved in the Anterbelt again. He wasn't going to. He was just going to use it as a shortcut, but his success against um, Orion in getting the bow kind of made him think he should stay and maybe get a shot at, at something. You know, if, if he had gone back to the overworld, I don't know that he would he would be the winner of this game, but he definitely would still be a competitor right now. And things could have gone differently. He could have, you know, in, in all of these things, there's luck in this game. And there are decisions that people make that can affect uh, another player. Anytime you have a multiplayer game, you have that, which I, I enjoy. Um, you have a lot more control in a two-player game, generally. Um, so he he lost to Weeder. She took him out. Uh, Tice lost to the Nameless. Um, she was, I think, going to be a strong lesson for all the other players that you got to make sure it's not just having your tasks done and getting there. You have to make sure you're ready to face the challenge that's in front of you. Um, so they're out of it. Uh, you know, our upper class people, Curly is really actually coming back pretty strong, I feel like. He, um, he has access to all of Tice's dropped stuff. If he can pick that up, he'll definitely be a player. The only problem for him is he needs to, uh, he has no sort of uh, quest foothold against the dragon. Um, and then he has, he has a lot of people, and I'll get to that in a second, that are, you know, about ready to, to finish the game. I feel like. I don't think it's going to happen this session, but it could. See how long I play. Um, Half Pint, she is beat up. Uh, she's close to the Nameless in space. I think she kind of blew her Pegasus. Um, she probably should have waited and got stronger before going over there, but she didn't know how well Tice would do. Um, but I think she just kind of, I think she tripped the trigger a little prematurely, uh, so to speak. Um, and so she's she's kind of in no man's land now, sitting on one health. She doesn't have her companion, the little girl. And yeah, I don't I I don't know how well things are gonna go for her. Though you know she can get healed up and built up. She's in the right right neck of the woods. Um, if she can beat the nameless, then she's beaten the game. Um, Fries and Red Tomato are are kind of in similar situations where they um, are both fairly strong. Fries is stronger than this number would indicate, this 10 here, um, because he just has so much health and so much capacity for health. Um, his movement, though, is very slow, and if I were him, I would ditch the heavy armor, but I'm not him. And uh, Red Tomato, he um, he's still waiting on one of the counters to come out of the bag, but the king is now back in the castle, finally. I don't know if I talked about that last time because there was so much other stuff going on. So he could go and get to the Nameless, and he's got the bow, so I think he might have a chance of facing it um, and winning. And then he just has to get to the dragon. So I don't know. Uh, I think Fries will probably get to the dragon before Red Tomato. And then, you know, Scoots, she's in Der Anterbelt. She... She planned on this quick dart down there uh, to get the success back up, get the dragon. She's since lost her, her broomstick. She can pick it up, though, um, if Weeder lets her. And she it doesn't seem like it's going to be such an easy shot at Der Verdammte. I think her big decision um, this, this session is going to be whether she wishes to continue. Um, so I think, you know, what it's looking like very likely could happen is we could have a situation where three different people each have um, one of the the points in the game you know I'm thinking 
either Scoots or Weeder is going to take Durford Amp. Right now it's looking more likely Weeder, right? Uh, Red Tomato, he seems to have the best shot against the Nameless right now. And then Fries seems like he might get to... Fries or Scoots, I would say, depending on what Scoots decides. Um, we'll get to the Dragon first. And so then what happens? Um, I think what will happen is it's going to depend on who can get to the next um, boss. So even though the Nameless is beaten, right, in this scenario, and the Dragon is beaten in this scenario, and Durfordanta is beaten in this scenario, I think the next incarnation in the, of the Dragon and the Nameless will be available for someone else to um, take on, and that way they can get the two points. Now, however, the, the favor of the dragon and the favor of the nameless will be lost to these two respectful respective champions if they are ever beaten by anybody. So that way someone can still get two points. These people can still have something that they have to protect in order to keep their points. And then we go from there. So we're starting things off with uh, Curly and Half Pint, our two champions, um, are approaching each other. They're they're getting closer and closer. Half Pint just went to Mirror Bar and upped her magic skill. Curly's lost in the swamp. Um, if they collide, well, one thing is interesting is whether they would even want to collide. Neither of them are favorites to win at this point. Is it worth their time? On the other hand. Half Pint sure seems like a nice uh, ripe target for Curly, who likes to, to hit people when they're down. So if they collide, it's likely Curly would win. Um, Curly's not super tough right now, though, and he's got, I think, a better dueling number than Half Pint, but if she gets two shots on him, then he he's defeated. Um, she has more to lose. She's weaker. Uh, we'll see see how that develops. Right now, um, Curly is lost in the swamp, so he's unable to use his full movement. He's faster, though, so if he gets through the swamp, then she could be in real trouble. After much deliberation, Scoots has made her mind up here as to what to do in Der Antervelt. She um, has this kind of face-off with Weeder. She spent a lot of time down here, a lot more than she would like, and she's aware even though her character is down here, she's aware that Fry's is getting near to the dragon, which was sort of, um, she was thinking was her. So she's going down here, she's going to pick up her broom, and she's just going to drop this. And actually she's going to drop this too. She's sort of cashing in, taking her lightning. Red Tomato finally made it to the castle. He used the teleporter, got a two, which is what he wanted, met the king, and the king has just made him a knight. He's Sir Red Tomato. Um, he doesn't get the, the super special stone, though, until he goes home, which is right up there. That's his house in the basement. Remember, there's a entrance, secret entrance to the under, der Antervelt. Um, but he pretty much is assured it. If he goes home, he gets his special stone, and then it's just a short cart ride over to the Nameless. One one problem with that, though, is there are special um, fields all the way on the way to the Nameless, so he can't run his cart through there. I guess, oh, actually, if he goes north, he would be able to. Weeder's heading after Scoots anyway. Um, Got her, and she's going to she's going to take the hit on her, I think. Back up to our two champion situation. Um, Half pint left mirror bar. She's heading south, trying to head to this fountain of life. Hope before Curly catches up to her. She's well. She's not sure if he's going to try to catch up to her, but figures she better be safe. Um, Curly made his way through the swamp, which was a fairly lucky roll. Now he has to contend with this spider, though. At least slowed him down. Um, let's see, he needs a six or better on four dice. And he failed. Uh, yep, he failed. So he's down to one. That is going to even things up between the two, and I think that's probably going to make it so that he doesn't want to attack her. And Red Tomato realized, or I realized, he does have to go this way. He can't take the northern route because 
Um, he's got to get home, duh. Uh, so he's dropping off his cart here, which is pretty sad for him. That is going to make it so he can only move two spaces, and that is going to severely cripple him, um, especially if someone else picks up the cart and he can't get it back. He might have to do a thing where he goes home and then doubles back for the cart and then heads north. He really doesn't want to lose that. That would kind of put him out of the running for taking out the dragon later. And Scoots is out of the underworld. It was looking ugly for her there. If she had stayed any longer, Weeder would have taken her out. She was lucky there was a, a pathway out. Um, so she jumped on, on Curly, partially defensively. She figures... You know, if he gets the first shot on her, she could lose her health. So what's she looking at now? Eight, nine, ten, eleven to Curly. Well, yeah, she's she, it's it's automatic. Um, so Curly is on his fourth incarnation. Um, now people are just kind of kicking him. I think for past misdeeds, and he'll head back here, which is kind of where he wants to be anyway. So not so bad for him. He's going to come back with a all of Tice's lovely equipment. And there is the Aramite. That's what Mooney's Aqualad was waiting for, um, I believe, in order to have some sort of quest and some sort of stake in this game. She's shown up now, long after his passing. Weeder is not letting Scoots get away. <laughs> this is terrible. This is terrible. This is really terrible. An eight. Now, she had to ditch her Hades uh, trident, so she's eight. 9, 10 to Scoots, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10 to 11, so that's minus 1, yeah, that's enough, um, she's taking Scoots down, Scoots is not dead, but she's going to have to do a lot of um, starting over, she can only pick one item to take with her. suppose that'll probably be the liar of Orpheus. So this is incredibly convenient for Price. He just went here, picked up the axe of gnomes, which he just has to take home, right? And so he just goes across the road here to where he lives, deposits his at home, and Fries gets a special rock. Let's find his special rock. I think he'll take the red one. Scoots is back home, and I just wanted to point out before I continue that she gets that she gets to eat the lightning spell as well as the liar. And the reason why is she started out with it. Um, she could start actually start out with a different spell instead. So Scoots Jr. has the lightning spell, and there's a servant hanging out at her house. She's going to go ahead and try and deal with that now, um, using the lightning spell to get rid of the minus one penalty. So she needs to get less than eight. And she was able to do that, so that's going to give her a good jump on things. She's going to get to start with two cubes. So Weeder returned back to the Der Antervelt, um, picked up some stuff. The Trident of Hades was no longer there, however, and that is not going to be obtainable for the rest of the game. Having dropped it, it returns back to um, Der Verdamte's card under the rules I'm using. And since the Hades quest cannot be redone, um, it's gone. So she's going to have to get a weapon before she can challenge Derford Ampton. And then there's still the matter of getting Derford Ampton to appear. Um, that shouldn't be too hard for her. She's got a nice path going north to Hades, where, um, Hades the place, where, uh, I don't know if you remember this guy, Thanatos, he was the very first, um, person that someone successfully challenged in Der to get a special weapon. She can go ahead and challenge him again, get that weapon back, and that's actually where she needs to bring Persephone in order to get the special armor, and that's going to really help her out as well. So she's got a pretty good short-range plan, and you know, it does. It looks like everyone else is kind of busy with what they're doing, so um, I might not check back on her for a while unless something, um, something stymies her path. Uh, to success in Der Antervelt. So Curly's actually looking better in defeat uh, with his fourth incarnation than he was uh, in previous ones. He's up here and he does have a, a bit of an issue though and that is Red Tomato coming closer. He's gonna have a hard time taking on the the, the mighty knight, uh, Noman Knight, um, but he's hoping he can uncover some of these uh, turned down counters to maybe get strong enough before Red Tomato arrives. So first he's got this golem uh, that he has to take on with a four. Oh no, no, a six, because he has that sword. And three dice. And 
five. And he's got six, a couple different ways. So he's got him beat. And that's, he's going to use that for the red cube. It's Scoot's turn. And, you know, you might wonder why am I even playing Scoot's turn. But I think she's not out of this yet. I think she still has a chance. It's a very long shot, but I think she has a chance. She still has the Liar of Orpheus. She just needs to get up to the dragon um, before Fry's. Fry, uh, Fry's could also fail against the dragon. Um, however, uh, whether she could beat the dragon or not, I don't know. I think it's pretty unlikely with what she's sitting on. But she's got to try, right? She can't just give up. So she's going to move three, which is not as much fun as using a magic broomstick. Fry's rested up at home. Now he's hitting a teleporter. We'll see if he gets what he needs. That could jump him to the dragon pretty quick. Three. Three is north. That's exactly what he needs. Um, I think he can only go to a blank tile. So he's going to end up right there. And he's very close. So Scoots right now, she really just needs to hope that he fails. Otherwise, she's going to be pretty far gone. Rise has made it to the Dragon Man. So the Dragon Man is going to give him a minus two. Um, Rise has... He rolls five dice, gets a plus one. So he's got to get seven or under. Definitely did. Uh, no, he needed to get five or under, but he definitely did that. So Fries has beaten the Dragon Man. That's going to give him two different colored cubes. He's going to boost his green and also his blue. Red Tomato just traded his um, saber, which added one to his melee with for these winged boots that used to be. I think several people have had these winged boots. Yeah, they were half pints at one point, and then Scoots had them. Now they're red tomatoes. That's going to give him a decent movement rate, even when he's not on the cart. Quick update on Weeder. She's failed for the second time to get the, um, the Sensei back that she needs in order to uh, fight Durferdamta. Uh, this could be taking her a little while. She's got to roll, what, a five? I don't know, well, uh, no, uh, a six or better. She just hasn't been rolling it. Fully healed now. Half Pine is, is taking on this counter that Curly set to slow down Red Tomato, and that's the Harpy. I don't know if she's fought the Harpy yet or not. Other people have. She's got to get a five or better on three dice. She really just wants to get strong quickly, so she has some chance, but really, if she wants to have a hope against the deep one, she needs to steal a bow from a certain someone. Um, and that's not going to do it. Half Pint seems to be floundering. She may be out of this game. Because of how the counters are in the bag, um, Curly's able to just keep challenging himself as long as he keeps drawing a face down one. So he's going against the orc now. You can check out how his cubes are doing. Um, he's getting stronger and stronger pretty quickly now. Uh, that's a six. That's going to be enough for the orc. So he is yet another red cube, and he's in the 4x8 range now. Time for Fries to take on the dragon. You're supposed to select your dragon when the game starts. I don't select the dragon or the nameless until it's necessary to know who they are. I just find it's easier not to um, accidentally see who it is that way. Um, so we're going to see. This could be deciding Fry's fate. Though really, whenever something's been deciding Fry's fate, it tends to go his way. So we'll see. Um, it's the red dragon. Now the red dragon may only be hit by the magic weapons. Okay, he has one of those. And it's minus three to all its different things. Um, and maybe we'll look later to see what it could have been. Um, so it takes five hits. Fries has got to get, so he's got to get a four or better five times against this dragon. And he gets to roll five dice. So I don't know the probability of this, but should be a good fight. Um, yeah, I think it'll be pretty pretty even for the most part. Fries has eight stones, so he can hold out for a long time. Ah! Okay, that was a two. So you've got one on it. I should probably move these cubes that were on the deep one. Okay. Maybe he'll just cakewalk through this. Fries, if he does well, he tends to dominate. And there, he got another one. Could this be the reverse of Tice's ill-fated battle against the Deep One? Certainly feels better. Another hit by Fry's. Wow. He 
is just destroying this red dragon. I feel like maybe he's rolling well. I don't know. He got it again. Wow, three twos. One more hit, and Fry's has gotten um, the dragon. Then all he has to do is get to the nameless. And he's close to that teleporter. This game could be ending quick. So the name, the deep one will be harder for him. It's got more health. Not by much, though. God, geez. And he's done it. Not a scratch on him. Not one of his precious armors even dented the slightest bit. Fries has beaten the, the dragon. So if he can beat the nameless, or actually Durferdamta hasn't been defeated yet. If he can beat Durferdamta, he's won the game. We'll see what happens. And that really takes half half pint down and a huge peg. Even if she beat the, the Nameless now, she would have to then go on to beat another dragon, I think. It may be foolish. It may be ill-advised. But Red Tomato has gone down to Der Anterbelt. Sir Red Tomato. To the the old mentor of his friend. Mooney's Aqualad to see if he can find success where his friend found failure. Alright, three or better. And he was close, but not close enough. And that's going to change things for Weeder, but she has no choice, she feels, but to get a weapon so that she can be in on the race that is now redeveloped for Der Verdammte. Alright, so she's got four dice. She's got a better chance than he does. And that's not going to do it. But that will do it for us. Um, we have Fries, who is very close. We have Red Tomato, who is very close. We have Weeder, who is very close. Different people who were very close than the people who were very close before. Uh, it's exciting. I, I don't know how much longer this game can withstand the um, the amount of of power, sheer power that is stored and bottled up and ready to be unleashed against the dark ones that are arrayed against the good and true colorful folk of the kingdom. Next time.